Welcome to a new advanced geometry lecture. We will have a look at theorem 1.82 in section 1.8, page 21, from the book Geometry Revisited by Kogzetter and Greitzer. Um, this theorem uh, is basically about the fact that the center of the nine point circle is on the Euler line. So let's have a look at the statement and a simple view of this theorem. So as we suggested, the center of the nine point circle, which we know goes through those nine points here, lies on the Euler line. And remember, the Euler line is the line defined by the orthocenter, centroid, and the circumcenter. So let's first uh, recall from our first proof uh, some of the things that we already found. Uh, one of them was that uh, we established that K, M, M, J, K is a rectangle. In addition, I believe we also established that K, L, M, I, K so that is also a rectangle. It does not necessarily go through the orthocenter. And finally, we didn't show it, but it's also very easy to show that this one is also a rectangle as well. LMIJ is also a rectangle. So we basically have three rectangles and they all have the same uh, circumcircle which is the nine point circle and we also established that uh, the center the intersection of the um, diameters would give the center of our nine point um, circle so for example for example so in our case it would be basically so you can draw one of the diagonals here any other diagonal would also do the trick so Let's stick with that blue rectangle here. Oops. Yeah, so it would be probably somewhere here. So we decided to call it P. So that's the center of our nine point circle. And uh, well, we need to show that P actually lies on the line, uh, the Euler line, which is basically defined by the uh, uh, orthocenter and the circumcenter recall that the you can find the ortho center the the circumcenter by simply drawing perpendiculars from your midpoints i and j and just figure out the point where they meet so p let's show that p lies on the euler line for that i want you to focus on two triangles basically triangle lmn so let me actually go ahead and um so Let's highlight this triangle LMN. So that would be our triangle. So this yellow triangle LMN. Focus on that triangle. And at the same time, please also focus on this green triangle. So do you see any interesting fact about those two triangles? Well, it turns out those two triangles are congruent and that they are just rotated half turn around the center of the nine point circle and this is very easy to observe because we first noticed that the point L and I are simply diametrically opposite each other and in a, in a similar way you can also establish that and uh, N and uh, K are also diametrically opposite each other and finally, uh, J and M are also diametrically opposite each other because notice that they are opposite vertices of the same rectangle. So as such, all we do is you can rotate the yellow triangle by 180 degrees, which is basically a half turn around the center of that nine point circle. And boom, you would get the green triangle. But then, if that's the case, then this half turn rotation, this 180 degree rotation, should also um, interchange the orthocenters of these two triangles. Now, where is the orthocenter of the yellow triangle? 
it is the ortho center of triangle ABC. <laughs> but how about the ortho center of the green triangle? Now, surprisingly, uh, it is the circumcenter of ABC. So why why is that? Because because of the way we uh, uh, the way we define the ortho center, uh, it is simply a perpendicular bisectors of the sides BC and AC, or even uh, AB. And so it, all these perpendicular bisectors would meet at point O. And as such, that would be the ortho center of our um, our triangle IJK because uh, those perpendicular bisectors will also intersect the line KJ, which is parallel to BC in 90 degrees. And in a similar way here, if I extend it here, it would be 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here as well because, for instance, IK here is parallel to AC because it's the midline of triangle ABC. So this is such a beautiful result. Not only did we show that uh, the center of our nine point circle is the uh, is on the Euler line, but it's actually the midpoint between the ortho center and uh, the circumcenter of triangle ABC. So now I would like to go ahead and give a second proof actually of this fact that the um, center of the nine point circle lies uh, on the Euler line and it's a, another beautiful result actually. So let me create a new page here. I already have a very nice drawing. It's slightly big, but hopefully it's for a good reason. So this actually, um, um, let me quickly uh, sketch the nine point circle. Um, so the nine point circle would be here, I guess. Huh? So this would define our nine point circle. It would go through the feet of our of the altitudes, so that means the midpoints of the line segments, and and, and also the midpoints of the uh, the between the vertex and the ortho center. But okay, so how can I show that the center of this nine point circle lies on this line H O? Recall here H is the ortho center and O is the uh, circumcenter. So notice that chord di uh, i will simply draw a uh, perpendicular bisector from chord di and uh, well chord di of our nine point circle obviously this this perpendicular bisector will uh, go through the center of that nine point circle and moreover notice that ohdi is a trapezoid and because this is a perpendicular bisector, these two lines are parallel because both of them have 90 degrees with BC. Uh, it is not difficult to establish that it will bisect, this perpendicular bisector of DI will also bisect HO. Now we can do a similar trick for chord EJ. So all we do is we draw a perpendicular bisector of chord EJ and long behold so these two are equal huh? but moreover where will that blue line that perpendicular bisector hit HO it will be obviously the midpoint again so why would that be because HEJO is a trapezoid these two are parallel to each other so this is kind of like the perpendicular bisector of ej is actually the midline of this trapezoid and as such it should hit ho at its midpoint and boom we're already done so we have two chords two perpendicular bisectors they meet at this point and that is the center of the nine point uh, circle such a beautiful result and in fact the nine point circle is just a special case of a circle create of a six point circle created using isogonal conjugates in this example our isogonal conjugate points are h and o and it's easy to prove this result for any two isogonal conjugate points but that would be all so that completes our proof and see you next video